five, four, three, two, one. A history-making launch earlier today in South Texas. It's just a step in a very big process, the third test flight of SpaceX's Starship. It's now the most powerful rocket to reach orbital speeds, but what does that even mean, especially for us here in Central Florida? News 6's James Barvero is on the Space Coast with a look at what comes next and what it means for the future of space. This Falcon 9 rocket launching tonight is more than 20 stories. So just imagine a rocket more than 150 feet taller at this new launch tower at Launch Complex 39A. With SpaceX achieving more milestones today in Texas, Starship could be another big step closer to ultimately launching from our coast, including astronaut missions. And I know just who to ask about what's next for the largest, most powerful rocket in history, Bill Harwood with CBS News. Bill, just how much progress did SpaceX make today, building off of the previous two flights of Starship? Yeah, when you compare it to the first two test flights, both of which ended with uh, self-destruct explosions, they clearly have made major strides. Now, they still lost both stages. They both broke up during re-entry, but they got much further than they did the last time. They'll take all the data they saw today, they'll build that into the next test flight, and pretty soon we'll probably see these guys landing like they planned to. So as you mentioned, the booster crashed, Starship burn up, the FAA will likely review those, so when do you think Starship might fly for a fourth time? We could see a flight in the next several weeks. Of course, it's going to depend on what went wrong, what it's going to take to fix those things, but they turn things around pretty quickly. I mean, if they can get a license from the FAA to launch, I think we could see another flight in a couple of weeks. How much do you think what happened today, the successes, and what didn't go perfectly, affects the Artemis III timeline? Or do you think we're too far away to tell? I think it's too far to talk about the impact on Artemis III yet. That flight is penciled in for the end of 2026. SpaceX does a lot of testing very rapidly, so it's possible they could get this vehicle certified and ready to go in time for that, although I think it's still a stretch. Multiple launches are going to have to go well before NASA is going to risk putting astronauts on board. So they've got a big challenge ahead of them. And fun fact, during its broadcast, SpaceX said today is its birthday. Elon Musk founded the company on March 14, 2002. And 22 years later, he posted this picture saying, Starship will take humanity to Mars. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. As you heard James just mentioned, SpaceX will try again tonight to launch its next batch of Starlink Internet satellites from Kennedy Space Center. Last night's planned liftoff was scrubbed with just minutes left in the countdown. Tonight's launch window opens at 7.04 p.m. When the launch happens, you can see it right here on WKMG. Click Orlando.com and our News 6 Plus streaming channel.